time to go get this toilet. That's a great deal, the one on the left. Only 30 bucks. Well, I ended up picking up uh, this toilet. Um, they, they put the nuts in on the opposite side, or they're on this side rather than the other side. Tell me how messed up that is. That's very messed up. Um, I can hope I can separate the tank from the bowl. This is something. Um, hey, what's up guys? It's uh, me, Sigo2000. And here, I am going to show off a little bit of this mystery toilet that I went out my way to get. And boy, was it something. I already spoke to some of you guys on this toilet and um, I guess we're trying to figure out exactly what type of um, toilet this is so thank you guys for um, reaching out to me and um, I'll get back to even more of your replies before I decide to show the inside of this bowl I wanted to show you how it looks upside down I really went on my way to get this toilet um, let's see, I'm going to, um, turn my flashlight on. The trap way, um, does look narrow, so that's interesting. The spout does push up quite a bit, actually, which kind of scares me, since a lot of modern homes don't seem to be so friendly with that. And there's this extra hole, I'm not sure why. Um, it's just there. I don't know if there's some kind of type of air exit way. And, um, it uses four bolts. I want to get rid of the seat. And here's the tank, which is pretty cool. I like the styling of the front. This toilet's really old. So far, I don't see no date inside the tank. Let me just lift it up. Um, I went on my way to remove this toilet. They actually stinkingly tighten the bolts from the opposite way from the inside of the tank. I don't know how the hell they did that. It, I had to use a saw to, to, deta to cut off the four bolts. I mean, man, take a look at that. Uh, that re refill tube. Quite interesting, eh? Hold on. Quite interesting. Um, that just fell off. Nope, I don't see no date still. But um, the bowl has a date. I was mentioning something earlier about how I'm noticing a lot of toilets that go up for sale. They usually go up for sale or they get sold or they get delivered around the same time as their birthday. I don't know why that is. And this is what I... Oh, I thought it was... Oh. I decided to take a proper look at the date. And to me, it looks like it's saying 1932. I thought it was 1931. So I cleared it more now. And it's saying, oh, 1937. I thought it was 1931. 1937. Interesting. This bullet's toilet's made in 1937. Wow. And interestingly enough, it only has two bolts, not four, like you would see on a typical front trapway toilet. Or if you want to call it a reverse trapper. <laughs> Now I'm going to show you the tank. I mean the the lid for the tank. Now I did not get to properly remove all the four bolts. But um, look at the, where the refill tube goes. And I'm a little concerned because I don't know if I can buy any type of rubber to put in between the tank and the bowl because it's very oval shaped. I noticed. Um, yeah. Very strange. Let me get the tank lid. 
Oh, the Tangler has a nice top. Hold on. Though I'm using my old phone to record this video right now, I just came to the realization that I'm still having memory problems with this old phone. I would have used this newer phone, my first iPhone 11, 11 my first iPhone I've ever owned, 11 Max Pro, but I just came to the realization of unlike Samsung, you can't pause the video during recording unless there's something I'm missing, and I find that quite annoying. Um, so I'm going to have to now make this into a part two video, though there's going to have to be more than three, you know, more than two parts in the end, probably three parts. I just can't believe my old phone let me down right now. I'm already out of memory, so any second right now I have to stop the video. So just before the video cuts any second now, there was this other thing that looks sort of like a stamp, but nothing's made out with it. And they did gloss the inside of the tank lid. Anyways, um, go to part two.